And hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Super Bowl tournament on NBC. Len Berman along with Mike Adamley and Pete Axtell. Two games will be starting 30 minutes from now. The last seed, Cleveland, will be at the top seed. The L.A. Raiders is a sellout at the Orange Bowl, but the sellout was too late to lift the blackout. Wow, in Foxborough, the convict, Mark Henderson, driving, waved on by Patriots coach Ron Meyer. Well, the Pats won't have their snow plow today, but the Dolphins, as usual, will have their brilliant defensive strategist to call on. Pete Axtell has that. In the last month, the Miami defense in the second half has given up one field goal to a snow plow, another after a turnover. No drives at all. How do they do it? Well, they're not a fearsome foursome, marauders, terrorists. They're more like accountants, and their favorite number is zero. Bill Arnsbar is probably going to take a lot of credit for that because he's, he's, he's a guy that can think on his feet. Every time we come to, to the sideline after a, uh, we stop him defensively, then we are talking to the guy upstairs, and he's telling us what they're hurting us with and the adjustment we have to make. And then I just try to summarize it and, and maybe try to leave us with one or two points that uh, we have to accomplish the second half. And uh, if we can do that, then uh, we can have an opportunity to win the football game. One way to lose football games in the second half, every armchair fan knows, is the old prevent defense. But the Dolphins have turned that around. They don't drop back and play negative thinking. They do it a better way. Our whole attack is attack. You know, our defense has to be aggressive. Try to make them, you know, uh, reroute their plans, you know, have, make them force, you know, force the fumbles and things and make the, the mistakes, run a bad route. Our two-minute defense doesn't really vary that much from our third down defense, and uh, we can keep, pretty much keep the same personnel on the, on the field and not make too many substitutions. Not that they never make mistakes, they're not perfect, but when you burn one of them, like Wesley Walker burned Don McNeil here, you usually end up paying for it. Coach John Berger came to me and he told me that, you know, you got beat. You got to forget about it now, you know. And so that's what I did. I went on and told myself that I had gotten beaten. And uh, to forget about it and that uh, we had a, a game to play. We had a game to win. Call them accountants, intellectuals, whatever you want. There's no question this is a thinking man's defense. And the uh, adjustment was it to uh, keep the backer on that side more aware of what's happening when you see the guard block down with we'll step up and feel and that's basically what we did the second half and take took the hole away from it. I may not understand half of the terms you just gave in that answer, <laughs> yeah. but you've helped me to explain to millions of people why the Dolphins are as smart as I keep saying they are. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so who do you like better, Raiders or Dolphins defense? I can identify more with the Dolphins because the Blackwood brothers are smart, they're crafty, and they can barely outrun me. <laughs> okay.